Hey guys, Yoko Stage here today, and I'm here to bring you a Naruto fan theory. Today I will be talking about a theory I have on why Sakura hated Naruto. Everyone disliked Naruto. This is no secret. From the beginning of the series onward, we knew nobody liked her. However, Sakura dislike and hate for Naruto is very different. She hates Naruto almost the same way the adults do, but she doesn't know about the Nine Tails, and this is where it gets confusing. Why did she hate him? so much. She is not a bad person, and when she learns about the Nine Tails, she doesn't care at all. So it has to be something deeper. And now you could easily say it was something petty like her because she likes Sasuke, but that's not it. I don't think that's it. I think there's a deeper reason to it. And mind you, there's not much evidence backing this up, but it is a fun little fan theory I created, and I want you to tell me what you guys think of my theory on why Sakura Haruno hated Naruto Uzumaki. We don't meet Sakura parents at any point in the SSO canon, only meeting them in filler and in the Naruto Road to Ninja movie. However, we see something very interesting in that they're very normal. And as much as we as fans probably hate to admit it, guess what was normal for the first 12 years of Sakura's life onward? Hating Naruto. So I think it's very safe to assume that her parents hated Naruto. We see in the anime in a brief flashback in the Kage Kage Rescue Arc that Sakura once saw Naruto as a child when she was very young crying all by himself while everybody was looking at him with those hateful stares. Sakura moved to go near him because we see she is concerned that there's this 4 year old boy crying in the middle of the street, but her mother immediately pulled her away. And she didn't say anything, but it's heavily implied that the reason she was pulled away was because Sakura's mother didn't want her going near Naruto. While this is only in the anime, I think this is good evidence for Sakura's parents hating him, because there's no reason to believe they didn't. So I believe that Sakura didn't choose herself to hate Naruto. I think her parents pretty much raised her to despise him and treated it as something you would get punished for doing. Being nice to Naruto was something bad children did, and if she did it and she was nice to him, they would punish her and maybe her father spanked her or something, I don't know. But that's the point. The point is that I believe her parents pretty much conditioned her. Naruto Uzumaki is a monster and a freak. You stay away from him. He's an annoying nuisance. They obviously had to give her other reasons to hate her. Hate him though. Because they couldn't tell her legally that he was benign intelligent and security and she clearly didn't know. Now this may be me catching a straw here, but in part one, she is 12 years old. And when you're 12, you're still really listening to your parents a lot. You're not aggro Belgian than you are in later years. So Sakura goes along with whatever they tell her. So when they tell her Naruto Tomaki's an idiot, he's a, he's a freak, stay away from him, he's a jerk, you shouldn't like him. When they tell her that, she's going to be much more susceptible to listening to them and believing it. Because if you notice, their relationship has a drastic change in between part 1 and part 2. The relationship when he arrives in the village is completely different in part 2 than it is in part 1. And I believe that it because Sakura, as she grew older, came into the realization, my parents are wrong, Naruto is a good person. She was old enough and powerful enough that her parents couldn't punish her anymore. She was independent enough that she didn't need to worry about them getting angry. Because Sakura isn't like you or me. She's 15 years old, but she has a job. Ninja get paid to go on missions. Sakura works at the hospital. She has an income. She doesn't need her parents for anything but moral support. If she wanted to move out, she could theoretically do it. So Sakura, as she got older, realized, wait, just because my parents don't like Naruto doesn't mean I don't need to like him. And she eventually turned around to her parents and was just like, I'm 15 now, I make my own decision. Because the difference between part one and part two is so radical, I have a hard time believing in more than just her maturing. Yes, her growing up was a big part of it, but I believe part of her growing up was realizing 
she has her own opinions about people and what her parents think about Naruto doesn't matter because her and Naruto are friends. You see that when they interact, she still hits them, still calls them an idiot, she still belittles him, but in a much more affectionate way. In part one, Sakura was mock like, no, you really are a dumbass Naruto. But in part two, Sakura like, Naruto, you're such an idiot. Like, she got angry, but more like a sister getting mad at her brother for going into their room when they're uh, not supposed to. Sakura got more mad like a sister gets mad at her brother. In part one, she got legitimately angry and legitimately pissed off and wanted to hurt him when she attacked him. In part two, she kind of just like, hey, you're annoying. Shut up. Hey, want to go get some ramen? That kind of thing. You see that she even agrees to go on a date with him so they can catch up in the beginning of part two in the manga. Yeah, and they jokingly call it a date, but they really just want to catch up, and it's a really nice scene that's like, yeah, there's something radically different. And as I said earlier, I think that Sakura finally came out of that point in her life where she listened to everything her parents said and formed her own opinion about Naruto. I also believe her parents probably encouraged her uh, crush on Sake tremendously, because as they are a civilian clan, it would look very good for them if their daughter married in Uchiha. But that is all I had to say on this matter. Remember, this is just a nice little fan theory. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any reasons that you believe Sakura hated Naruto, tell me in the comments. Tell me what you think of the theory as well. Like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more videos. This is Yonko Nade signing out.